Hello, my name is Achimbo Tande. Today I'm going to talk about Lowe's is giving away $30 million to minority owned businesses and $55 million to COVID impacted businesses. We're going to talk about corporate giving and branding and how you can use corporate giving to improve your branding while improving the community. So we all know that people do things because they want to help, right? But sometimes they also do things because it's going to improve their business. And sometimes companies, I'm not saying this is what Lowe's is doing, but there are branding benefits of doing charitable works, right? That's why you see all these corporate giving pledges. You see this volunteering, you see things are happening. And Lowe's is doing something amazing. They're giving away $30 million to minority owned businesses and $55 million to in grants to COVID impact businesses so the 30 million it's not 85 million total the 30 million is coming out of the 55 million why that is important from a brand perspective now Lowe's is seen as the second the biggest competitor Home Depot right so you have Home Depot and then you have Lowe's is the next rung right so Home Depot is quote-unquote the top of the line in terms of valuation company size things like that and then right after it you have Lowe's and so when you're in that second position as a brand you have to be very careful on how you differentiate yourself because there are reasons why people go to Home Depot over Lowe's. However, there are things you can do as a quote unquote underdog. There's a lot of value in being the underdog and often people look at the underdog as if they're this, if they're nothing. But typically in, with brands and with companies, being the underdog can be an amazing thing. Some people only go to the underdog. For example, some people only root for the underdog because they don't like people being top of the heap. So some people may go to Lowe's just because it's the underdog and because it's not Home Depot. In New York, we have this thing where people are Mets fans because they like the underdog. They don't want to be with the Yankees and they want they like that being a part of the underdog team. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into Mets versus Yankees. But you see this oftentimes across sports, you see this across businesses, you see this across celebrities, things like that. Sometimes people root for the underdog or uh, in movies, people root for the underdog because they want to see that triumph. They want to see people overcome it. Now, part of what you can do as an underdog, if you help out more underdogs, it can really boost your brand. So helping out minority-owned businesses, which are underdogs in the US and across the world. So by doing that, Lowe's is boosting their brand and they're possibly creating an amazing partnership or an amazing connection with a group that will feel for them more than other groups would. Because now that people know that Lowe's are investing in the community, those communities may be more willing to invest in Lowe's and to work with Lowe's over Home Depot. Branding is about differentiation. So now in the customer's mindset, I'd rather go pay money at Lowe's because Lowe's helped me or Lowe's helped my community, whereas Home Depot did not. And you need to think about that as a brand, as a business owner in order in terms of when you do your charitable giving, in terms of how you're active in your community, especially in a relationship to your competitors, right? So I love charity. I think it's great to do things without telling people, but as also the fact that Lowe's is doing this, right? And they're telling people now, maybe they can get more money from the community and then they'll be able to help out the community even more. That's my hope. That's what I hope I will happen. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but that's what I hope will happen. This is Tane Business Media. If you wanna hear more stories, please hit subscribe. We talk about branding and advertising. Sometimes we have stories on business in general, but that's what we typically talk about and I try to dissect and break it down for you. If you have any requests on what you'd like to see, leave them in the comments below or tell me about a great story you have or what you're working on. I, I love engaging with people. I'm doing this for you. I really wanna to get to know your businesses and help you more. What topics you want me to talk about about a story you saw that's really cool and I love to jump in it on a video and I'll even shout you out for the idea. Please check out my other video on branding how Instagram just stole TikTok's main feature and the impact of that. Also SEO versus pay-per-click advertising. Check out that video over here. Thank you so much. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. This is Tiny Business Media. I hope you have an amazing day.